I'm sharing with you today a bit of a canning video. Uh, it's about the spaghetti squash. When you can them and then after they're canned, what happens is you get air space in the jar because they're so they're soaking up they're soaking up more water. So here we have another big pot in my um, big stock pot here. And this one's really you can see where they're all falling apart now. So hopefully they'll soak up enough water that there won't they won't be porous anymore. And I'll pop these into canning jars and I'll process them for the 19 minutes that's required. And that should work. Hopefully there will be no airspace happening in the jar. So here we go. Here's the end result. And I'm really, really pleased. So again, this is the hot pack method. So what I did was I cut it into chunks about this big. And I put them in pots and covered, made sure all the chunks were completely covered with water. And I let them cook for about 10 minutes. And then I let them, I put a lid on and let them sit in the water for about an hour to make sure that they would soak up as much liquid as possible. And it looks like it's worked quite well. There were a couple that had a little bit of a an air space once it was cooked down. I don't know why that happened. Uh, I noticed when I took this one out of the canner that there was a whole bunch of little bubbles that were still bubbling and sometimes if you take them out of the canner too soon you'll lose a little bit of your head space. So I don't know. I'm not really sure what happened there. I mean they were all taken out at the same time so I don't know. So I'm really pleased with the way that these turned out. Really really happy. It's my method of canning spaghetti squash and I will we'll include a few updated photos of some other things that I've been doing and uh, just to keep you all sort of informed on how the apartment homesteading is coming along. Well folks, it's time to dig up the potatoes and see what we have. Those are the squash vines. So I think I'll uh, dig up a row or two and then move the vines over and carry on. I'll let you know, uh, let you have a look at things when I get a row dug up. Or two. <laughs> okay, so we're not doing too badly. I dug up the rest of this row of whites. And then this is the row of reds. I nearly fell over when I dug up this guy. Look at the size of them. <laughs> Look at the size of these things. They're huge. I can't even hold it in the palm of my hand. Barely. That's how big it is. I think there's some in there that's even bigger. <laughs> Just huge. Wow really pleased with the red ones. Okay, I'm going to get these all out of the way and then I'm going to move that vine over to here and continue digging. Okay, so this is the rest of them for the entire bed. Uh, not as good. The white ones didn't do nearly as well as the red ones. You see the, the size difference there. Uh, two rows of white ones, one row of red ones, but there was a big patch in the middle that had been flattened early in the spring. And right in the middle, in that, in that middle spot there, uh, there was hardly any potatoes at all. So whatever got in the garden and flattened that section just stopped the potatoes from growing altogether. So that's the other part of the harvest. 
So I'm going to pack these up and take them into the garage and spread them all out and let them dry. But again, as you can see, some more of these big ones. There's a few more of those big ones in there. Nice ones. Yep. A couple big white ones, but not too many. Most of them are smaller. That's okay. I'll can those ones up, maybe. Well, it's a day after my little trip to the garden where I dug out the potatoes. And these are the cherry tomatoes that I've picked in the last week. And in here we have the larger tomatoes. And these are just the ones that we've picked that we haven't been able to eat because we've been, you know, the two families we've been eating the tomatoes as well. So I'm going to bottle these up today. There's my canning that I've done in the last week or so. I have to find a place for everything now. Um, I don't know if I should show you this yet, but down here this cupboard is completely full of canning now. It goes way back in there and it, it's full, full. And then we have this cupboard that's also almost full of canning but there's no more room and then I have another spot where I have some more canning as well so I'm slowly running out of room to put everything the important thing when you're apartment homesteading is make sure you have room for all the food that you're putting up or uh, hopefully you get a storage locker that is, is somewhat heated or something. Um, anyways, I'm not going to show you how I bottle these up. I'm just steaming these so I can get the skins off. They're probably ready to take out of there now. Uh, there's lots of videos out there on how to do tomatoes. I'm just going to do uh, uh, like a chunked up tomato sauce. Or not even a sauce, just uh, like chopped potatoes and I'll just can those. I might puree them with my little hand blender. Cook them down a wee bit. So yeah, I guess they would be sauce. Anyways, I gotta get these out of the pot. Here we go. Five jars, exactly. Pint jars. And it's not too often that that happens. And the tiny little bit that's left over is going into some hamburger, onions, garlic. Onions from the garden, of course, not the garlic. And I'm gonna stuff the... Hang on a second. I'm going to stuff these peppers with them. I think these are the Anko. Anko or the Anaheim. But anyways, they're a thin-walled pepper. And they're not that spicy, apparently. And they're excellent for stuffing. So, there's my stuffing mix. I'll probably add some Parmesan cheese to that. And maybe a little mozzarella on the very top. And I'm going to steam them in a pot until they're done. And one more thing while I have you in my kitchen. I also picked one of those sunflower heads and I have probably about six cups of sunflowers here. I've got the black lines on them so they were ready. So just off of that one sunflower head, about six cups of sunflower seeds.